We're now going to introduce some terminology which will be useful in talking about changing variables or doing transformations, if you like, in more than one variable. So let's say we have some region in the xy plane. Let's call this region R. Okay, and we'd like to replace it by a region in a different coordinate system U and V. So we'll have some region S in the UV plane, and we'll have a transformation which we'll call T, mapping the region S to the region R. So in the transformation T, X is some function G of U and V, and Y is some function H of U and V. Now I want to clarify what it means for the region S to correspond to the region R. So suppose T is a function from S to R. Okay, now we say that T is injective if whenever you have two different points in S, then when you apply the transformation to them, you get different points in R. So T of P is not equal to T of Q. Right, so you can't have two different points in S mapping to the same point in R. So if I start with uh, two different points here, so here's P and here's Q, then I'm going to end up at two different points, T of P, maybe T of Q is over here somewhere. Okay, So I can't have both of these going to the same place. Um, and then we say that T is surjective, if every point in S, sorry, every point in R is T of some point in S. Okay, so if I pick any point over here, then I can find some point in S which is getting mapped to it. So all of R is getting covered by this transformation applied to S. And finally, we say that T is bijective or bijection sometimes this is also called a one-to-one -one correspondence Um, if T is injective and surjective. So that means that every point in R comes from exactly one point in S. So injective means a point in R can't come from more than one point in S, and surjective means every point in R has to come from at least one point in S. So bijection means every point in R comes from exactly one point of S. And sometimes it's called a one-to-one -one correspondence because each point in S is getting paired up with a different point in R. Like you could imagine that S is a bunch of job applicants and R is a bunch of jobs, and a one-to-one -one correspondence would mean that each job is filled by exactly one applicant, and no, no applicant um, goes without a job, and no, no um, job is unfilled. But you also can't have two applicants in the same job, or you can't have one applicant doing two different jobs. Okay. Now, we also define the composition of what? So if I have some function f from this region r to the real line, so f is going to go from r to the real line. This is different r. So this r is the region r. 
and this blackboard bold R is the real line. So F composed with T, so this is a function from S to the real line. So F composed with T evaluated at some point UV by definition is F of the point G of UV comma H of UV. So in other words, if, um, well basically, F composed with T is what the function F corresponds to in the UV coordinates. And then the question we want to ask um, in change of variables is the following. So suppose T is a bijection. So we have the double integral over R of F with respect to area. And I'd like to rewrite this as an integral over S because maybe in the XY coordinates this integral is difficult to evaluate and I want to change the coordinates to make it easier. So I could look at the region S and then I'm going to have the function F composed with T, so this is what the function um, corresponds to on S, and then I'm going to need something else here, and this is what we want to figure out. So how do I, how do I rewrite my integral over R as an integral over S? What do I, what do I need to put in the integral? So we will answer that question in the next lecture segment.